So hopefully a super quick one today, but we're just going to take a look at setting up Spout inside Unity. So first thing we're going to do is start Unity, make a new project, and I'm going to call this Spout Test for Video. And I'm going to include the standard asset package, and I'm going to create that. And while it's doing its thing, we are going to get Unity Spout. <clears throat> so we're looking for the one by Clax. Uh, or called Clack Spout by Kirijiro. Kijiro. Uh, you scroll down and it's going to give you a bunch of information of it being used, but in installation we want to go to the releases page and grab the latest version of the .unity package that is available to you. Uh, I currently know that there is an error with this one, so I'm going to grab this package here and that will appear in my downloads. So at the top here, you can see it. I've already uh, ported it tonight to play about some stuff. So let's uh, cut this into Pro for People, Unity, Spout Test, Spout Test for Video. And I'm going to drop it in here because I'm going to use it. And then we need to go back to Unity and wait for it to finish importing the standard asset package. Okay, and now that's finally opened, let's have a look at what we're dealing with here. So now what we want to do is not open processing, but we want to drag in the uh, Unity package that we just downloaded. So drag it in and it will import it, import all. So now I have my standard assets and I also have the Unity plugin being, uh, the Spelt plugin being added to Unity. And the only important thing you need to know when you add the plugin is it's going to give you two new components that we can access when we use objects. One that allows you to receive spout feeds and the other that allows you to send them. So uh, let's do, let's create a simple level. So let's make a plane. Uh, let's add a cube to it, something exciting. And let's put our uh, first person controller in here. So I'm going to add the first person controller, play it. Perfect. Yeah, I'm going to rotate this around. Rotate this around just so it starts the other way. Okay, perfect. Uh, and then I am going to, on my camera, I'm going to add co component spout sender. And as simple as that, it will automatically send uh, a spout feed out from your game anytime it's used. So to catch this, I'm going to open Touch Designer, but you could use anything. Uh, you could use Resolume, VVV, Max MSP, anything that supports spout, basically. So I'm going to drag this over here, and if I close that and add a spelt in and catch the open feed and play it. You'll see that, well, I think the problem is that I added it to the wrong camera. So it is actually working. It's just that camera is not moving. Uh, so I'm going to delete my main camera and add it to my first person controller camera instead. Spell sender. So now when I run it, you'll see this over here will update with our spout feed. And it will, by default, go to the size of your game window. So if I was to increase this, uh, if it will do it in Windows mode, you can see that the what is appearing and not appearing is being adjusted based on size of the active game window. So if you were playing in full screen, that would be fine. It would say 1920 by 1080. But the other option we've got is we can actually, instead of using spell camera capture mode, so basically sending exactly what our camera sees, is we can use the texture target mode. So we can say whatever this camera sees, but apply that to a texture and send that rather than sending the camera itself. So I'm going to create a new render texture and I'm going to call it spout text. I'm going to set it to whatever I want. So let's say 1920 by 1080. 
so the size of a screen. I'm then going to go to game object and camera and I'm going to call this spout camera. The reason I'm making a new camera instead of using my existing is that if I was to use my existing and then push play, you'll see that I, I'm no longer able to actually see anything through my camera that is being applied to the texture. So I'm going to stop that. I'm going to do delete that from here. I'm also going to delete the sender script from my original camera and add it to this. So I'm going to say spout sender. And then in my camera, I'm going to apply my render texture to my texture target. So this camera no longer displays an image. It displays, uh, it renders to this texture we're making. I'm going to recenter my camera. So it's exactly wherever my player target is. Uh, I'm actually going to center that to parent that to that. Zero. Now, if I play it, I will have full control in Unity and I'll still have my same uh, first person controller. But now in touch designer, my spout texture is being sent as 1920 by 1080. So it just gives me much more control over what I can and can't do with my textures. Okay, so that covers sending. Now we need to have a look at receiving. So obviously, We've been attaching the senders to our camera, but we can't attach a receiver to a camera. And we're going to do almost the exact same as we've got happening down here is I am going to, we need an object in our scene that updates every frame that is rendered to pull through the latest image. So I'm going to create a new, that's the wrong one. I'm going to create a new empty child. We don't need that. Uh, and I'm going to call this spelt rec and I'm gonna add the component spout receiver. And in here you can see it's asking for either a target texture or a target renderer. So we are going to create a new render texture. And then in our spout rec, we're gonna set that render texture to be the render texture. Uh, we are then going to alter it. So let's say something like 1720. One two seven one two ninety. What is the resolution? One two eight zero by seven twenty. Wow, my brain. Uh, and then we want to apply the texture somewhere. So I'm going to apply my render texture as a material. Next, we need to send our texture. So I'm going to do send uh, spout out, and I'm going to call this TD send. So in our spout rec, our spout name is TD send. So now if I play it, this is gonna create a bit of a wild feedback loop, but you can see that the texture I'm sending from Touch Designer is being used on the floor. It's not mapped correctly because my plane isn't the right size. This is 1280 by 720. So our plane, let's scale that to be 1.6 by 0.9. So it's 16 by nine. Now if we play it, my texture is exactly as it should be in beautiful resolution, thanks to the size of the render target that we added. And in Touch Designer, we get this amazing loop of we're both sending and receiving the same texture. Uh, I wonder what would happen if we did this. It goes all white. So <laughs> we can use the texture we receive as the texture we send to create some really trippy stuff. But that is a super quick overview of using Spout to send and receive textures in Unity.